Hello everyone, VJ32 back with another how to play. Today we're going to how to play this little card game called the Great Barrier Reef card game. It's by um, Travel Buddy Games and Keith Piggott. And came out, I don't know if it says when it came out, originally, okay, 2019. And I just got this on Amazon. It's probably the best place to buy it. One of the only places to buy it. Unless you want to overpay for it on eBay or elsewhere. <laughs> and it's for one to five players. Basically, you're building your very own reef in the sea. Uh, you're going to be doing that by laying out cards. Something like that. And you will be scoring points, different, different types of points for different cards that you play, depending on how you play them. There's a score pad. Uh, yet rules, nice fold out thing. And um, just double checking something here. There's also this nice card that has information, this nice page that has information on the sea life that's in the game, as well as the Great Barrier Reef. So that's kind of cool. And also a little bit more information on the scoring. And also a solar board. Which I'll probably do at some point in time. I'll put that aside for now. So what do you get in this game? Very quickly. You get... The Reef cards, there's 69 total, and they look something like this. They have four different uh, quadrants, I guess, if you will, on the cards, with different types of fish and sea life. Some are, oops, <laughs> some are positive points, and some are negative, and some allow you to adjust scoring. That one's an arrow up. I'll explain that in a bit, and this one is one up and one down, basically, as far as I know. And what does affect is the scoring. You got 10 different scoring cards. As I mentioned, there's 69 reef cards. You're going to be using a certain amount, depending on the player count that is indicated right here. 31, you're going to remove 31 for two players, 17 for three, five for four, and none for five players. So I removed 31 for two player game. You got these 10 scoring cards. There's five here, and there's not five here. I believe the ones are for stars or meant to be played after your first game. And these just have different things on them that you can score points for. Like this one is score points for every two fists that are on the outside edge of your reef. This is points for every two fists in the largest single group. So these ones are actually maybe a little bit more simpler. Um, and then we got these ones like score points for having four fists in a group. Having four fists in a alpha basin. Like that or like that. This is having a group of three fists in a corner. This is just a group of three fists horizontally or vertically. And this is a group of three fists diagonally. So uh, you, you would shuffle those up. You don't really need to shuffle them up. I guess if you're using all of them, you can shuffle them up and choose five. We'll just go with these ones. Um... You also have these five scoring markers, which are wooden tokens. They play ways, they're pretty cool. They're going to be used on this card. You're going to start it off on the pink colored space. And when you play one that has an arrow, you're going to actually move this up on whichever one you want. Uh, if you have one like this one that has two arrows, that means you will move, you know, let's say this one is here and this one is here. You will move one up and the other one down. But, or left and right, as it says. <laughs> and these are just different types of points you're going to get. What, whatever this is on at the end of the game is going to be what you're going to score if you get that scoring combination. 
you also have these five little tokens here, which are uh, just fist tokens. You know, please don't on the back as I'm creating a mess here, <laughs> knocking over stuff. And then uh, you also have these little number tokens, numbers one through four. And so let's talk about the setup, I guess. Again, it's stuff up the cards, you remove however many is specified. And then you will set up these scoring cards here. And you're going to take these, kind of mix them up, and randomly assign them. Oh my god. <laughs> Just knocking stuff over everywhere. I apologize. So you just assign these, and at the end of the game, which is going to be once you've gone through this draw pile, you will uh, score the points. And then you'll set these up to start on the second spot, so they can always go down right at the start, or they can go up. Obviously, changing the score going to be, you know, subjective to whatever is going on. You might increase one that you are looking to get more points for, decrease one that might hurt your opponent. Then you're going to have these here as well. Number one, two, three, and four. And I wish I had pushed this back further, but I guess it is what it is. You're going to stuff up the cards, and you're going to deal... Three to each player. And you're also going to put, I'm going to put the scoring thing upside, one underneath each one of these. One thing you'll notice on these cards is that they all have a number in the middle. One, two, three, four. Some of them, if I can find one, have an asterisk. Like this one right here, which means you can choose any of those numbers. But the way it's going to work is you look at your cards and put one down. This one has the direction of numbers. Now you don't do anything with those arrows until you cover it up. Once you cover those arrows up, that is when you move stuff. Displaying it doesn't affect anything. So I could put that down there. Since it's a number three, I would take the number three card. That's 153. And then I would refill this. And my opponent's going to go. He's going to do the same thing. That's going to come back to me. And uh, when you play these, you're always going to overlap a card. So maybe I'll play this here, trying to get a group. Well, actually, for that one, I want a group in an L from Ace. And so if I get, you know, one more here and another one for an L, that'd be great. That's a number three. So I'm going to take the three and we'll play this one. And maybe my opponent goes and I go again. Maybe I put this one here. Again, trying to go for that L. That's a four. I'll take the four. Put this one out here. Um, and then you just you continue going for your deck like that. Uh, if I cover up this plus two of the arrows, well, I get to move one up. Maybe I move this one up since I'm trying to get that one. And then move one down. Maybe I move this one down. And then that was the number one, so I got to take the number one. And you keep playing, like I said, laying out cards. You always want to overlap one or two cards. You can do two or one, two or one. Um, maybe even three in that case, I'm not sure. It doesn't really specify, but you definitely want to, you have to overlap some cards. You cannot put a card directly on top of another one. That you cannot do. Uh, but something like this, and you're just going to keep playing cards and making this reef. <laughs> and then, uh, again, once this deck is gone through, you go through the deck, you will go one more time. Once you've depleted this deck, you take one more turn, and then everyone is going to score based on these. And you write those scores on the seats. You will also look to see, you will add up all these positive points, plus two, plus one, 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 plus
plus one and subtract the minuses. And whoever has the most points at the end wins. It's a nice simple little game with these nice mini cards. They are Lynn Finnis. It's got some nice enough art. Pretty cool. And yeah, it's an interesting little game. So that is The Great Barrier Reef. Hopefully that makes sense. Comment, like, subscribe, and all you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.